Welcome, Ripochet. Thank you so much for joining us. I wanted to give a little bit of an introduction first to our listeners. So Changtel Ripoche is the founder of Ban Shen Ling, which is focused, it's a nonprofit charity that's in the US here, and they're dedicated to supporting the global Bun community through programs that support refugees and educate Western societies about this um, unique group of people and their way of life. And we'll talk a little bit more about Bun, but the way that we know Ripoche is that he is actually very much connected to our feng shui teachers and the BTB feng shui lineage. And actually, I remember the first time I met you, we were at the, I don't know if you remember, but we were at the Linyan Monastery. And I think maybe His Holiness was there. And um, the, the last. Um, yes, 33rd. Habit. Yes, the yeah. 33rd. And then, um, and then you, you actually were, gave blessings when we graduated from our feng shui program. And um, so it's really wonderful to have you here. And I also wanted to let people know that um, we refer to you as Rinpoche, which means precious jewel in Tibetan. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much for me to be here and my pleasure. So yes, now it looks like we have been so long for many, many, many years. We have just time passed very fast. And we have been long time. So yes, you are right. Okay. Mm. Yes, as uh, myself, Tibetan, and study on the whole my life since around like eight years. I joined in the monastery in the Tibetan monastery, then study on the Tibetan bond. So then. For all my life, I mean, study on the bone meaning is bone is very large. It is not just like a fat on the religious aspect. It is has a philosophy and it is the teaching about, it is the care about the, how all the peoples in the world, all the beings in the world, they are in the different way and the different situation and the different direction. And the bond is the, somewhere it is the looks like in the name of the religion, but actually when I look into the bond, it doesn't mean it is only the aspect of the religion. It is connected to the religion, but it has a lot of, lot of, from the, from the bottom level to the high level, all different people, they are, in the bond, we category divided all the people's kind of the smart consciousness or the level of the, their vice or their uh, study or education level. We have in the bond divided into nine ways. So some people are very smart. Some people are little smart and some people are dim smart. So in that way, we have it divided into the nine different way. So when I look into the whole entire the bond teaching and that I found this is not only religion and this is, has a so much science source of the how to taking care of the people's being alive. Once we are already born, we have a life and we have to handle how we can be taking care of our life into everyone's want to be in the better way. They don't want to be like a worse and they don't want to be like a crafted uh, their life. They want to be happy. They want to be good life. They want to be successful life. In the successful way and the, in the bone teaching, there's so many mainly as a, I'm also happy that you are, that uh, Angie, yourself and uh, Laura, you've been started uh, that mindfulness. And it is really in the bond, all the teachings divided into the bond, but it is the 
not just go into teaching and just go to the practice. It should be have a very mindfulness, which is suitable to. I cannot be just jump into the bone and into the jump into the some teaching that I, which is so heavy and I can can try to continue for that. It is just wasting my life. So it has to be mindfulness within the mindfulness, which is suitable of the bond teaching or the international, whatever the teaching, it is suitable. Mm -hmm. Suitable means it is coming from the mindfulness that that is the very interesting. And I'm today uh, talking into the mindfulness and that is the, so in the bond teaching, I want a little introduce or something describe about the, that feng shui. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you're right. Uh, that's why we called our school mindful design because it's like you said, it's about caring for people, caring for the world. It's not just about meditation and it's not just about feng shui, but it's how do we take care of the earth? How do we take care of all the visible beings, invisible beings? ourselves and without the foundation of mindfulness the it's hard it, it's too diff it's um it's actually you you need to start with mindfulness and taking care of yourself and then you can really go advanced right within the your level otherwise people are just trying to oh also many masters they are trying because master has been whole their lives study into the many deep philosophy and they are full of the wisdom and sometimes they bring into the new and uh, like a very fresh student and a student means practitioner. And they are telling to master by master to the practitioner, oh, you have to do this, you have to do this. But who knows that practitioner is available or eligible for to holding a heavy teaching. Yeah, well, that's or, why I looked into yeah. your bond program bond practitioner training, you have to do mm -hmm. um, how many 40 hours a week, prostrations, meditation, people don't understand. And you've been doing this your whole life, right? Yes, you, you do the, you, the prostrations are your body. And then you, you do body speech, mind all together to really um, integrate this into your being and it takes a lot of preparation. It takes a lot of preparation, then also, you are in the temple. And you don't need a very much thing about your facility. So you are as a, like a student in the monastery, in the temple, and your facility is all the arranged by the, your parents, then you have a lot of time to do everything. But now when you bring into the ordinary people, ordinary life, they have to handle many things. They have to take care of their facility. They have to take care of their bills and they have to take care of all their business. And in the part time, then also they want to be, they really want to be study and practice in bring into their life, into the peaceful life. But then without mindfulness, it is very, sometimes they craft it and they sometimes they look, then they are, okay, I've been study, 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 I've been practice, practice. Then of course they have not taking care of very mindfulness. They will be totally breaking and totally stuck into their life. Mm -hmm no matter even it is in the spiritual path, but journey of the spiritual, but still it is crafted and it will be like a very kind of the brought and stuck into the journey. Mm -hmm. So you are right then uh, in the, when we introduce into the modern way, so I've been now working with the, not only in the temple, I've been 12 years working in the temple with the students. Then now I've been already almost like a 17 years with the modern people who needed not only provide the, all the facility by parents or the, by friends, they have to take care of their facility and everything. For those people I've been teaching and I've been consulting and I've been taking care of their life within the, my born practice way for over seven, 13, 14 years. So in that way, we have a very different situation and we have to have a very, very, it is so important when the people are trying to, they are so enthusiastic and they are so excited to be, get into the spiritual path. 
But then sometimes they jump into and they're trying to take care of everything without mindfulness. So mindfulness is the very intelligent and a very smart and a very nice way that you have to look into, you have to see everything, but which is important and what is the suitable for you, then be the, with very wise, then you can take in and you can nourish the teaching of the, any international teaching, no, not necessarily be born, but from my side, I'm in the teacher of the bond. So I will, we have a, so many different way of the study. We have so many to share and I am sharing then depends on the people. I'm always guiding them, make your suitable, which is the comfortable for you, not excited, not just mm -hmm. jump into the teaching. Make mm -hmm. a very comfortable and be within the yourself and nourishing that within the into the teaching. That is the way. Yes. Yeah. We. Um, I think um, we always have a desire to jump ahead, do the exciting things, and we. And I mean, I. I mean, I think we're all like that, and our students yeah. as well. You know, they want to get to the good stuff as they see the good stuff, but really. You know some of the really simple practices and um, quiet awareness and mindfulness practices. They might seem boring, but as you said, without that foundation, it's you can't jump. You can't jump ahead. Yeah, you will be broke. You are. <laughs> yeah. then you will be stuck. Yeah. So in this way, in the bone, it is divided into the nine ways mm -hmm. of the bone. In the nine ways of the bone, it is the part of the bone. And mostly when you listen to the bond, most of the bond masters and the Rinpoches, they always talk about the highest teaching, which is the main course of the totally self-awareness, which is the Dzogchen teaching. But in order to get into the Dzogchen, we do have a whole nine ways. And the first level, very simple it is. It is all the teaching is Without the being, there's no teaching. All the teaching is for the peoples. And teachings are for the people in the, according to the people's mind and people's level. So first level, in the bond, we call that cha shen tekpa. Cha, C-H-A, shen, S-H-E-N, and tekpa. Tekpa means like a will. T-H-E-K-P-A, Chashen Tekpa. In the Chashen Tekpa, then we have a very simple, very easy, most of the just beginner, they have a very devotion, they have to have a very faith, and they have to believe on, there is something on this earth without we are seeing. There is something that we believe on the energy we believe on the beyond the, our ordinary people. Many people, we are custom and we are growing in this way that if I don't see it, there's nothing. There's nothing existing into the without my seeing. But it is, it is, I cannot say it is not true, but somewhere looks like from my experience, it is not true. Without you are seeing means those people who are seeing without my seeing, there's not, nothing existing. Without seeing means from their eyes, only they are talking about the based on their eyes. And in the experience of the ordinary people, there are so many high vibration of the energy, mm -hmm. high vibration of the wisdom. They are existing everywhere. And sometimes without notice, you don't need to be get into there. You don't need to be practiced into there, but you are able to see them, but you are notice them. You are not, not, you are not noticed for that I was seeing and it is something power. It is something beyond the, that to seeing a reality, I have to practice and I have to do something. What is the practice for the ordinary? Since they don't believe on the teaching, then it is the best basic. They need uh, something understand about. There is something energy 
that is more power than myself. That is more utilized, more benefit for others that I'm not able to see, but it should be, it is there. That is the main, main that we are struggling. Many people, they don't believe on. That's so important because also we think we see something with our eyes, but how do we know even with our eyes that's true? So that is, this is, that, yeah, this is very true. Absolutely, absolutely. So we are trying to bring into the people first level of the bond. Sagochewa and Namgochewa in the teaching. Sagochewa. Sa means belonging with the earth, which is the physical door. Chewa means opening. So there are two topics, Sagochewa and Namgochewa. That is the main, main principle, basic and foundation in order to people open their mind. People are struggling into the, distracted by, physically from the earth, and one is from the space, which we are not able to see without little deeper practice. So in order to seeing at those high level energy, high level vibration, high level wisdom, we have to open our chakra, we have to open our mind. And people, some people call the aura. Some people call the energy. So these are who cannot believe and who doesn't faith on the, this kind of the beyond the energy. That means we are, those people are blocked by related of the earth, related of the space. Space door and earthly doors are blocked. It was closed. Earthly door and the space door, where are those? That doesn't mean it is somewhere belonging. It is within the us, in our energy system, into the, our body, which is that uh, we have a life, which our life is related with our uh, consciousness. Consciousness, life, and they all go together. That is the we call the, our life once we have a breath. And when we breathe out, our consciousness will be going out and we are no more in the life. So during the hour we have a life, when we have a breath, it is inside the breath and it is inside the life that do have a earthly door and a, a spacely door. And I like, Sometimes when I look into the professors and the feng shui practice, they always have a bamboo and they always have a, some uh, like a opening of those eight, eight barka in the Chinese language. I don't remember the barka or something, but uh -huh. in the Tibetan park, we call the parka. There, mm -hmm. there are the yeah. eight parka. So eight parka in the Tibetan culture, it is so important to opening a space energy in our system without any taking a step into the spiritual, we do have an energy, but it was part of the block. So in, in order to open that, we have to have an aid parka. Aid parka, either showing an aid parka, either show, keeping an aid parka symbol into the house, or crafting into the houses, or crafting onto the door, or the picture of the Ed Parker keeping on the door, or somewhere in the keeping into the, we do have a cow in the Tibetan culture. We keep a treasury box on the neck and made from the silver, made from the copper, very nicely designed. Inside, we keep uh, all the Parker return on the, piece of paper and they fold it and we put into. Those are to protect, not to block my space energy. My space energy always to be open. 
to some people in the chakra system, they call the chakra. Into the uh, energy system, it is the energy. Energy is not function very well. So when we keep all the parka, that can help us to opening our space energy. Nam go chewa in the Tibetan. Nam means sky or the space. Go means door or the their life of the energy. Chewa means opening. Then second one is the sa go chewa. Sa means earthly. Go means the door or life of the energy. Chewa means to open. So those are very profound and very simply, and it is in the first level of the bone teaching in, into the, that type of the teaching. It is simple and it is so for, it is like a people born and people having a study and something education, then after 12, 13 years in the ancient time, they are trying to settle down. They are trying to feel like a settling their family. So until the 12, 15, they are with the family, with the parents. Now 14, 15 in the ancient time, they are going to separately. They are, they are marrying and they're going to the, in the different family. They, they build a new family. When they new family, they have to build a new house. They have to build their new life. And in the teachings, on the first level of the teaching, say, okay, now you're studying of the, your life and you need to open your space life of the energy and earthly life of the energy. Those two opening, then we have a divination teaching mm -hmm. and we have a astrology teaching, mm -hmm. then astronomy teaching. Those are slow by slow, step by step. It, it, they're all the teachings are coming out. So these are the very main profound and basic teaching and basic idea about the, we do have a life of the energy. Mm -hmm. And many people, they are seeing, but they're not realizing. So in order to realize that our own energy, we cannot just jump. We have to take through the mindfulness and how to keep that, how to get into, then how to extend that energy into the people. That is the something that I always try to tell the people. Um, you had mentioned, so I've been reading um, and studying a little bit about Bon just for my own interests, obviously, um, and reading about the different, the nine ways. Um, and some of them are very high level, as you mentioned, very, um, and some are very, um, our mm -hmm. practices that are very in line with some of the practices sound like to me of uh, black sect, especially the idea of the divination, the astrology. And when you talk about opening the home, opening the earthly door, the ideas of, and the, the Bagua or the Pakwa, as you were saying, um, there's so many, there's so many connections between the two practices. Um, and I know you spoke about that. I, uh, you were speaking about that to some graduates um, of a program and you would, you were talking about, you know, the history, I mean, the, the Bon um, history is 18,000 years old, correct? That is right. Ancient practice. Yes. 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 yes bon is the, about now 18,000 and founded by the Tabashena. So still we don't have any idea or the many people, I mean, majority people of the modern life those people, they don't believe on the way Tambashana was born, but we believe on the Tambashana was born in the Tajikistan or Afghanistan area. Those are the very ancient uh, uh, valley and ancient country and the uh, bond was introduced into there by Tambashana. And during the Tambashana, he do have a lot of different, different students from the different country. Even at that time, 18,000 years ago, it was, China was already there. China was different than the Shangxiong. China was already different than the Tibet. So at that time, from the China, and uh, one of the Kongse Tuljal, Kongse Tuljal is the become our main principle 
student of Dr. Mbashiana, who is the in the bond system, mainly all the, that astrology are started by the concept Trujal. So in the astrology, when we look into, then this is the parka, then how to design the houses and how to blessing on the houses, how to be feng shui on the houses and how to be steady on the, where should be door, when you put the door and what type of the blessing we need it. And when you put in the window, what, what type of the window practice and what type of the mantra for the window that all the types are written in the large test book. And it is always associated with the Tomba Shianab's group and the mainly student is the, that Kongsa Tuljal. So from there, we have a lot of history into the uh, Feng Shui and the uh, Tomba Shianab's Kongsa Tuljal's teaching, which is a special on the number Jalwa. So it is the one of the Tomba Shianab's deed and it has a victor. Tomba Shianab is... was a victor, number Jalwa. And is in Ban is um, looking at your home, like the feng shui of your home, is one of the, probably I would think maybe one of the more introduction, the first level, because it's easier to change your home. Start You start with, um, you said, starting to see energy under or ex acknowledging there's energy, acknowledging there's more beyond what you can see and acknowledging the invisible world, but then also incorporating that in your space and your and in your home and your environment, because those are easier ways to begin to change your energy, right? You change your That chi. is right, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Before starting a breaking a earth, we do have a feng shui treasury vase to build a treasury vase. And it is, sometimes we just say treasury vase, but into the treasury vase, it is not just treasury vase. It is the some type of the design of like this. But inside the treasury vase, we need to put a so many treasure, like a silver, gold, and a diamonds, and a turquoise, and coral, coral and a many different nice uh, uh, stones and jets. And when we put into there, also we need to put a many different mantras, a return on the piece of the paper. And the return of the piece of paper has a different mantras and different rituals for the opening of breaking uh, ground on the center. And also when you put on the door, there's a different treasure, different mantras, different uh, rituals. And for the windows, and where it should be before breaking a, a ground that everyone need to be looked into the through the astrology on the first level of the teaching, doors should be which way and direction for the east or west or north, south, and according to the, that land, according, mostly we call all the doors must be focusing on the east but they are also depend according to the, their own land, within the land and according to the land shape, according to the energy of the land. Also, there's a consider about the which door to be main door on the direction of the east, west, north, south. There are also different mantras. Then in case there's no choices and we have to deal with it, nothing like a, not the best choices, then we do have a purification and we have to have a, some mantras and some rituals to be making a perfection way. Mm -hmm. There's also very much into the, those kind of the study. It is a lot of study there. Oh, we should, we should research how to make the treasure vase. That would be a fun workshop. Yeah, one day we can do that. Yeah, you know, actually I have, um, you know, you talked about the the amulet let me i i made some let me show you okay <laughs> yes i think this this one kind right oh yes that is the one amulet 
now I'm talking about in this amulet inside, mm -hmm. outside is all a different, different design. Yes. But inside you have that paper. It yes, is paper. folded, right? Mm -hmm. In the paper, then what type of, you are very good on the mandala uh, design, yes. right? You yes. always write a mandala. So yeah. that mandala mm. has a many different shape and a many different design. Yeah, so inside here, there's a mandala that you, um, yes. my teacher, she printed it, but then I color it and chant mantra. And uh -huh. then inside also I put herbs connected oh, yeah. to Tibetan herbs connected to my, what I need. Uh -huh. And then, um, and then you make it and then you wear it, but I put it in my, on my desk. Absolutely. Yeah. It's but fun. that paper, when you print out the mandala uh -huh. design, uh -huh. mandala design has a different, different order into the different, uh, rituals for the door, for the window. And it is a different, oh. different. Oh yeah. And also in the mandala, you have to have a syllable written into. Oh yes. The seed syllable. Yeah. Those seed syllable has also different, different mantra mm -hmm. for the door, for the window, for the house, for the breaking, uh, breaking ground. It has a, a different, different mantras. You need to teach a whole class for our school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're going to give oh, yeah. you another job. <laughs> oh, yes. That is what I'm saying. Bond, when we talk, then there's a, so many interesting teaching coming. Teaching mm -hmm. coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Yes, you are right. Sometimes, yes. That is great. Thank you. This is it's so um, great. So it's great. Amazing. Yeah. So many connections, and uh, I'm I'm very interested in. And as Angie was saying, when we I looked into the training, and I I am I'm being honest with myself. I I need to prepare before I can do the training. You know, you need to start simple, and I need to work on. Um, you know, sitting and very simple sitting basic practices before I can jump, jump, jump into something big. But it is on my list of things that I want to do in this lifetime. <laughs> for sure, sure. Sure. Yeah, but I love Rinpoche. I love that you said about the nine ways it, it it's able to include all levels, you know, the most basic level. But mm -hmm. also, if you want to be not everyone can live in a temple and like you said give up all their give up their yeah. home their family so you can also start just on the basic level yes absolutely and that, makes a big that is big difference big difference yes that is the so nowadays we are very smart there are many you can you can understand right 40 years ago there's not so much can explain other than the lamas comes to here if Lama doesn't come, all the like some uh, long practitioner doesn't come, they don't have any knowledge. Nowadays, there's new idea, new knowledge, just basic idea for the people and for the small community, for the nearby. So now you live in New York, you have a many, many access to mindfulness teaching and mindfulness, be how to be yourself in the ground and yourself be into the perfect way for the study without losing of the your family, without losing on the, in the ancient time, when you said, I'm going to meditation and I'm going to practice, that means almost like a families are very kind of, oh, that means are you giving up all the families? Are you going out of the family? That is the in the ancient time. Nowadays, we don't need to do this. You can have a family, you can continue. Also now new idea within the meditation and within the every like a one hour giving into the week, one week, you are giving a one hour for study. Those people are so much affected for the family, happy family, nice family, and energy family, much, much better nowadays. These are the results from the meditation people. It is not just meditation people saying, it is the scientists they are saying, once you do a more med, I mean, not give up the family, within the family, do sometimes a little more meditation and do, that brings a more friendly family, happy family, and also energy wise, always happy. Mm -hmm. And for yeah. the community also.
Yes. And, and now, especially since um, the pandemic started, you're, um, you're also now teaching online on Zoom. So we're so lucky to have a teacher that is modern. <laughs> and, um, but, but that a lot of people can, yes, incorporate the bun practices or even just explore it. Mm -hmm. through zoom and and watch and come attend to attend your classes mm -hmm. right right yeah. yeah yeah and um the in case people are wondering i'm just going to give the website so we don't forget um it's the bun shen ling and it's bun shen and it's uh bun shen ling dot org that is right thank yeah. you thank you yeah well um Rinpoche, this was so wonderful. Thank you so much. We have so much more Thank to you. talk about. I think we should schedule a lot of so, workshops for you. <laughs> this is what I'm saying that we met, we met almost like a 10 years ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the 10 years, we built our karma. It, that means it, it is not easy to build uh, our kind of the karmic connection. Oh, yeah. It took like a, almost like a 10 years. Mm -hmm. Now we are connected. Now we are doing uh, something and uh, which is the benefit for all the peoples through you, through me. And uh, we all together, we are trying to bring a good energy and uh, like a peace into the world, not buying uh, material from the outside. We are trying to bring a peace into the world by the experience of the, our own, what we have inside, looking into the, our mind. That is the, our message for everyone. And just, I'm very grateful that you both are doing, and I met you 10 years ago in the uh, graduations. At that time, you just like, oh, I'm graduation, I'm graduating. I am become a great master. No, what is the, my duty now? Maybe you have a little doubt, but this is now. Now <laughs> this is the carry on. You have the great teacher and you're doing perfect. And otherwise you can just, now you have extra time. You can just have money and go to somewhere and hang around. <laughs> but you're not doing, you're not wasting your time. I need to do something for the people that your love and compassion is bring into the people, then everyone who listening uh, Angie's and the Laura's uh, advice, teachings, meditation courses, whatever the courses, just mainly think about, it is not just making a kind of the population, kind of the something that we don't have uh, enough time to waste. So we do have uh, so many things to do, but most important, you both are, have been practiced through your own choice into the spiritual, into the, this kind of the mindfulness training. So you have been your own choice. You invest your whole time into there. Now you want, you're receiving a, after 10 or 15 years, you're receiving a nice joy that result of the, that what you have been practiced. Now you are time to setting up and to sharing to the people and everyone who's listening, try to follow to this way, your energy also receiving different peoples in the future. That is the, how to do our way. Thank you so much, oh, both of you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And so thank much. you so much for everyone who's listening. <laughs> thank you. How do you, you say so goodbye in Tibetan? Oh, Tug Je Che. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank All right, you. have a great day. Yes, thank you, you too. Rinpoche. We'll thank send you, so you an much. email with everything. All right, thank okay. you. Okay, thank you so and much. We'll we'll talk again soon. Okay, yes, anytime, okay. right? Thank you. Bye. Okay, Bye. Thank, thank you. Me. Bye, Laura. Bye.